Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, the next part of our journey which is going to be from uh, Glasgow down to Liverpool. Uh, we are on VATSIM today. It's, uh, it's looking a bit busier today thankfully. So we've got some controllers down south. Uh, with London Control and Liverpool Tower which is uh, good. Now hopefully they'll still be online by the time I get there. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, as always we are in the Just Flight PA28, uh, weather is coming from uh, Active Sky today. Yeah, weather's not too bad. We've got clouds at uh, 3,500 broken, and we've got a bit of wind at uh, 300 at 10 knots. Uh, scenery today is coming from uh, UK 2000, again, the freeware version of uh, Glasgow and also the freeware version of Liverpool. Uh, I'll uh, leave the links in the description down below so you can go ahead and check them out. So we've uh, we've refueled the jet completely. Uh, we're only at about 40% fuel left. Um, so we'll uh, fill her up and that should get us down to Exeter in the end, at least. So before that further ado, let's just crack on, shall we? So let's have a look at the checklist. Hobbs are recording. Well, yeah, just coming up to 13 hours. Chance we have a chance available. Seats are just unlocked. We'll go ahead and close the door. Uh, restraints are fastened. Radios and electricals are off. Okay, so before engine start, brakes are on. Actually, carb heat is off. The mixture is fully rich. Master switch is on, alternates on, fuel pumps on, put some lights on. We will go ahead and select the tank, so go for the left. And we will prime the engine. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and crack the throttle. Make sure nobody's around, which they aren't. And we can go ahead and start. And there we are, that's a good start. So bring that down to a thousand. Okay, engine DTPs are good. Let's see if we haven't got any. And make sure we can lean that for taxi. And the fuel pump can come off. So let's go ahead and turn a few things on here. So we've got avionics. Uh, and turn the radios on. It's going to stand by. So we are happy. Let's have a look at our charts today, um, our route I should say. We are going to be going from here down to the Glow DME, so it's uh, 109 is 165. 109 is 65. So we will pop that in here as well. One Zero nine six five. I think we should pick something up once we are airborne. And then we were going just up to the north of the Lake District. Which is the DCS Steam Cross, which is one one five decimal two. Excellent. So, happy with that. So what heading am I looking to fly out of? Oh, one, one, four, three. One, four, three degrees, that's fine. Okay, so let's bring up our charts for Glasgow. Yeah. 
So it's you three, yeah. So we're basically just going to come out of here and right, and we will stay all the way down to the end. Excellent. So, that's our checklist. So, before taxi checklist, flaps are up, which they are. Maybe that's our answer. Transponder is standby. Which we are. Uh, Aetis, we have the Aetis. Altimeter uh, check. Well, so we QNH today is 1024. Okay, uh, heading indicator. We'll go ahead and select that onto a one four th one two three one four three heading. And we can go ahead and put the uh, landing lights on. We need the parking brake and we are off. Brake check. Brakes are good. So, because although we've got a long runway today, uh, we will take no flaps on departure, even though we are full of fuel. We just don't need it really. Uh, but I will just allow for a bit of a longer, longer run up to get airborne. Oh, you're joking, it's like I've just lost London control. Typical. Never mind. Hopefully uh, somebody else will come back on and carry on the service. So as soon as I don't need the whole runway, I'm just going to take uh, take this turn off here. Plus that way, if uh, there are any jets that come online, I'm not going to be in their way. So we will go ahead and just stop here. Also do our run-up checks. So parking brake is on. Okay. Mixture fully rich. Fuel pump on. Uh, fuel selector will switch tank to the right. This is told us throttle up to 2000 RPM. 2000. Just let that stabilize. So now left back check. Yep, we get the drop. And now the right. Get the job, so we're happy. Vacuum check. Yeah, that's good. Let's test. Yeah, that's good. Venture instruments are all in the green. Carp heat on and check for drop. Yeah. Throttle to idle. Carp heat off and back up to a thousand. So 
uh, mixture as required. We'll leave it rich because we're about to depart. Okay, so before takeoff checklist, circuit breakers are all in. Flight instruments are good. Comms, we are on Unicom at the moment. Yeah, PJ needs check for load. Yeah, primer is locked in. Flaps are set. Fair no, we will take one stage of flap today. Seems that we are a bit heavier. Trim one, two, three. So we've got some trim in there. Controls are free and moving. Which they are. Yeah, so we're happy. Uh, doors and windows. Closed. Seat belts are passed and briefing complete. Air conditioner is off. Also, pilot is off. And we are cleared for takeoff. So, set that to standby. I'm going to go ahead and put the strobes on. Mixture is fully rich. Fuel pump is on. Compass is good. So, we'll go ahead and set the standby. Unicom Golf Delta Jet Alpha Hotel taking off runway 23 at Glasgow. Wind. Okay, there's the airspeed. Yeah, we're up. Feel the wind blowing us across there a little bit. We're up, go flaps up. So we hit a thousand, and then we'll make our turn. So we're probably going to climb to about 2,000 feet here. Our hotel is clear of Glasgow's active. Okay, let's come up to two thousand now. Just 
correct uh, heading slightly here. Let's check if I've got the right frequency in there for... As we're going to come down, we should see uh, the M74 to our left once we get past getting out of Glasgow here. So now that we're airborne, we can take the fuel pump off and we can lean the mixture now we're in the cruise. Uh, no, landing light can come off. Max are happy. And we're on our merry way. It's a bit of a dismal and dreary day. I would say uh, standard Scotland, but... Uh, I would be lying a little bit. A lot of the times when I've been, up, well, the two times I've been up to Scotland, uh, for the most part, it was actually quite nice weather. Okay, so yeah, that's right. We should have this reasonably big wind farm down here, which we do. These are uh, 2,400 feet. So in fact, I'm going to have to climb. So we'll mixture to four inch and we'll climb just so we're clear. So we've got these up to about wind farms up to about 1,400 feet. So we want a safe altitude, so we'll go to two and a half thousand. Should hopefully see us clear. See us clear for now. Safely clear, anyway. Okay, here we are, two and a half thousand. Accidentally. Cruising again. Just bring that mixture back slightly. I'm going to put the landing light on as soon as we're going through cloud a little bit. Skirting the base should just help us be identified.
Uh, let's see who we've got about. Oh, a few things about. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Interesting. Let me see it. Somewhere, I don't know. Might be Carlisle, actually. That's the model matching at work. That's a model matching that's not working. And easy jet. Plenty of wind farms. I'm going to have to climb anyway uh, to avoid some of these mountains. So we're going to have mountains up to two and a half thousand feet, so I might have to climb here. So, so we've got some more wind farms on the nose, which is perfect, it's just what we want. Yeah, these are... Uh,
So I'm 23.2 miles from the TLA VOR. I'm using uh, Sky Demon as my map. It's not connected to the sim, so it is a bit more of an old school way of doing it. Wind farms, eh? Stationary as ever. Typical for the UK, really. They are supposed to be about a thousand feet below me, so I am well clear. have some more over there somewhere. Oh, no, sorry, that over there somewhere. Again, this should be more clear of them. For now, anyway. So when that lines up, I am where I should be. I should be using that to intercept then the uh, DCS VOR, or oh, sorry, DME, which is the Dean Cross DME.
track. Should have the M74. Oh, there it is, that should be the M74 there, I believe. That's there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to climb. It's about 3,000 feet. So we will go mixture rich fuel pump on. And we'll climb power. Go three and a half thousand figs, and that should clear us for the uh, mountain that's got the glow DME on, which is at 2400. So we should be well clear of that. thousand dropping the nose and running the power back slightly just trying to bring up my truck okay so our fuel pump can come off and then we can load the mixture slightly so we are happy Let's see if I can find where I am. So I'm about 080 from the TLA. I think, I believe I should be further over this way, so I am going to correct about there. Yeah, as the M74 there, I should have uh, drifted a bit, the wind. Well, that's fine. There's nobody else in the area. So, yeah. 065. And that is 065. Yeah. So the DME should be over here somewhere.
Oh, and maybe this body of water. This reservoir, by the looks of it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to turn now and intercept the uh, Dean Cross DME, which is 274 by the looks of it. I'm going to go ahead and put the Dean Cross in up here. So there's 115 decimal 2. Days. And then I will also put in <laughs> hmm. Wallace CVO our DME one more four decimal one. Don't expect to pick that up just yet. I know, I am. It's about, it's about an hour to go, it's fine. towards Dumfries at the moment. Seven minutes, that's fine.
Hmm. So, we're making progress. All I can ask for at the moment. Keep looking at this fat map and hoping that at least Liverpool stay online, the tower. It's lost London control. Ah, typical. Should be dumb freeze there. Let me head out over the coast. Move on to the Lake District. Surely there's got to be a better model match than that. What on earth is that? So what else have we got here? CB168. What's that supposed to be? So we can find what it is. CB168. So this is supposed to be a PC-12, not quite, I don't think, where's he at, is he Edinburgh? I think that's Ed is that Edinburgh, yeah I think that's Edinburgh. And what's this supposed to be? That's, that's supposed to be a Chinook, if you can believe it. I mean, there are AI models out there for these, so I don't really understand why they can't be model matched. But, there you go. Maybe they are for some people, but uh, they're just certainly not for me. So, we are... 21 miles from uh, Dean Cross, and then we're in the Lake District. And 
that. They're about 100 miles, 55 minutes from Wallasey, which is just uh, just to the west of Liverpool. It's quite nice, quite a nice view. Once I hit Dean Cross, I'm going to want to turn to a 178 degree heading. That should track me down to uh, Barrow and Furnace. Still got Liverpool. So I just want to be on a bit more of a toes here as we close in. Should put have got some mountains up to about 3,200. Yeah, between 3,000 and 3,200 is what we'll do, so we'll skirt around them anyway.
That should be. Siloth. Disused airfield down there. I believe. World War II airstrip airfield, no doubt. We should have a little airfield. Is it? Kirkbride over there somewhere. But it's there. There it is, Kirkbride. district up in front of us. So we are above freezing but we will that's not enough. Bit of a stutter there, it's loading something in. That's what it looks like it's loaded in Manchester and uh, Liverpool. So you can have a look at the map, see, you, uh, see what's got what. Well, Liverpool's got one aircraft that's probably about to depart. For a while, Manchester's got quite a bit of. I don't know if you, no, no, they've only got three or four aircraft in anyway. It's not too much. Anyway, let's focus, 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 focus. So we are closing in now, 5.5 miles from Dean Cross. down here somewhere. Let's see if I can spot you. Yep. So we're on the right track. On the right track. We're okay, actually. So we're going to go one, seven, eight. So that's going to be three, five, eight. down there. It's not too bad, not too much deviation there. I'll just correct that right a little bit. 
just to appease the uh, hardcore fans out there that want to bang on the money. Okay, so now I've hit that. I want to roughly a one seven eight track. So I'm gonna wait till that comes across and then I will make the turn. So I should have so that should be cockermouth. Try not to laugh. Um, yeah. So I am going to track right a bit more, just to avoid the mountains up in front. I should do as. Still got Liverpool Tower, excellent. Hopefully he stays with us for a bit longer. Forty minutes from Wallasey, according to this. Lovely view. Liverpool information, Julius. 
Starts time 1120. Runway in use 27. Transition level flight level 60. Surface wind 310. 14 knots. Visibility 10. Kilometers or more scattered 3000 feet. Temperature plus 13. Dew point plus 3. QNH1026. Threshold. QFE1023. Acknowledge your receipt of information, Juliet. And advise aircraft type on first contact. Excellent. So we've picked up Liverpool ATIS. So I've got some, I've just taken some notes there. So we're using runway 27 today. Uh, winds are 310 at 14 knots. Clouds are scattered at 3000. The QNH is 1026. And we are information Julia. I will check that again before I make contact with the tower. Uh, probably uh, just before I. Where would I be? Probably as I'm just coming past Blackpool and Warden. I'll, uh, I'll listen to it again there and see if it's been updated. Um, it should have been updated by then, I think. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and contact the tower. So, we've got to be careful here, though, because on our approach in, we're going to have to be below 3,000 feet. Yeah. Below 3,000 feet, because that's Manchester's class A. Now we're looking at Liverpool control area, which is 1,500 feet. Uh, but it seems that we have no radar control there. I will. Uh, Stay. I will enter the class D airspace anyway, um, but I will speak to uh, Liverpool Tower first and ask them what. See what they want me to do. Uh, so probably be descended down to 2,000 feet. So once we get clear of the Lake District, uh, I will descend down anyway. So that at least then it's done. Uh, there are no height restrictions over the ocean here until. There, so that's fine. So, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn left now and try and thread myself through there. So, it's 170, that's fine. Lovely. So Mun Muncaster Castle should be down there. It's cool. And then over here somewhere. Hard Knot Castle. Which is a Roman fort should be over here somewhere. I mean these aren't actually modelled in the sim unfortunately. It would be great navigational aids. But uh, what can you do?
So that should be Broughton and Furnace should be down here. Oh, looks of it. Making good time in half an hour from Wallasey. Uh, we've been going for 58 minutes, which is fine. That looks like we could be in ahead of time. It's, uh, planned about an hour and 45 for this. So if we're getting a bit earlier, then I'm happy. Hold on, I'm coming. Please don't go anywhere. If only the ground textures are a bit more crisp, they look fantastic. So, as I've used in my other videos, this these uh, is just flights VFR for the real scenery. So we should have Barrow, Wallany Island is done there. That's fine, I'm on track. Slightly left, so I will... Correct slightly to the right. Go through cloud with the light on to make it a bit more visible. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead across to Liverpool's Q&H one zero two six uh, two six. Rather than staying on Glasgow, as we're well past Glasgow now. Like a ship over there in the distance. So I'm going to correct further right so they come overhead, uh, Barrow, Walney Island. It's just on the nose there. Yeah, 
Let's see the cloud weather's looking a little better, so I'll turn the landing light off. Uh, I've just had an aircraft depart. Hopefully that doesn't mean that the controller is going to leave. The last aircraft in there. I'm still 28 minutes at least from him. And I can't see if there's anything else coming in. find out soon enough. Surface up to 2,044 feet. And we're above that 3,500 feet, so we should be good for the transit. So, Wallany. There you are. There's one for small one. So it will be a slightly left turn. That's what I'm hoping I can do, if the tower doesn't mind, is uh, when we come towards Liverpool, fly down the Mersey to downwind, to the downwind and uh, come in that way. T1014 knots. Visibility 10. Kilometers or more scattered 3,000 feet. Temperature plus 1,3. Q point plus three QNH one zero two six Threshold QFE one zero two three Acknowledge a receipt of information, Juliet. And That's fine. So in fact I want to go ahead and tune into Liverpool Tower now anyway. One two six just about three five. What is I'll keep an eye out though for if any controllers come on. Otherwise, there's uh, not much point. <laughs> okay, so there's Barrow. Oh, on the airstrip. So now we're there, we will make our turn to 183. Once we're clear of the island, we do have some restrictions around here anyway. Right, so once we're clear, we'll, I'll descend down once I'm over the coast.
the speed. Speed's picking up slightly here. Wind direction must have changed. All of a sudden, got tail strong, quite strong tailwind by the looks of it. So the speed's coming back slightly. Okay, right, so let me have a look at some charts for Liverpool. We can go ahead and uh, put some stuff in. <laughs> so, the. Yeah, that's Glasgow's chart. I want Liverpool's. There's Liverpool. So Liverpool's ILS for two six no two seven sorry is one 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 decimal seven five. So one 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 seven five. So it's fire and the heading is two six seven. So we're clear of the coast, we will begin our descent. So we will stay mixture rich, fuel pump on. Drop down to 2,000 feet. Thousand feet, power on. So there we go, two thousand. just slightly. Liverpool, good afternoon. Kingdom 07 is on the GAA print. We're at Bell 429. We have information uh, Juliet 1026. Request to start up. And Kingdom 07, uh, Liverpool Tower, good afternoon to you. Uh, you are cleared to start. Cleared to start, Kingdom 07. Excellent, some traffic. Uh, King 
Doom 07, uh, confirm you filed a flight plan? No, we haven't. We were planning to book out, just uh, leaving this zone to the northeast. Yeah, um, on this man's bat sim, uh, you are required to file a flight plan, whatever you're doing. So, uh, uh, for future reference, that's anywhere on bat sim. Uh, otherwise, we have no information uh, as controllers, so we need a little bit to work on. Just has to be fairly general, just tell us where you're going and what altitude you'd like, and uh, we can do the rest. Yeah, Roger, no worries. B1023. Advise aircraft type on first contact. Liverpool information, Juliet. Time 1120. Runway in use 27. Transition level flight level 60. Surface wind 310. 14 knots. Visibility 10, kilometers or more scattered 3,000 feet, temperature plus 1, 3, dew point plus 3, QNH 1026, threshold, QFE 1023, acknowledge your receipt of information, Juliet, and... Right, so if there's anybody watching this who has any idea how I can get rid of the... Um, sim ATC because uh, I don't know if you could hear it there, you probably could that I had both the VAT sim ATIS and the sim ATIS uh, I don't want the sim ATIS because I'm not using it and uh, their information was incorrect anyway um, so if anybody has any idea how I can get rid of that please leave a comment below, it will be a great help Blackpool down there. So how far away we are? Two point twenty-eight point five miles away. Liverpool Tower, good afternoon. Golf for Delta Julie Alpha Hotel, message over. And, uh, station calling Liverpool, party message. Liverpool Tower, Golf Delta Julia Alpha Hotel is uh, type PA28, currently 28 miles north of Wallasey, uh, VOR, routing south towards Liverpool. Uh, we'll be looking for a full stop, if possible, in about 15 minutes. No problem at all. Uh, you can enter the Liverpool zone via C4 VLP. Uh, it'll be not above uh, 1,500 feet on the QNH1026. Runway news at Liverpool is 27. And report approaching C4. Clear to enter the Liverpool control zone via the C4 VRP. Uh, QNH 1026, runway in use is 27, information Juliet, and I uh, will contact you back once I am uh, approaching the C4 VRP. Uh, if possible, we're looking to route down the Mersey onto the downwind leg and then onto the approach if possible. Oh, Roger, that's copied. Uh, we'll keep that in mind and just give us a call as you're approaching C4. We'll give you a call once we're approaching Seaforth, uh, Golf Alpha Hotel. Seaforth Tower, Golf Alpha, Golf Alpha Echo, radio check, 126.530. And Golf Bravo, Golf Alpha Echo, Liverpool Tower, reading your strength 5. Golf Alpha, Golf Alpha Echo, Cessna 152, parked General Aviation, apron, information Juliet, QH 1026, request taxi for VFR tickets. Project Golf Alpha Echo, uh, taxi via Kilo and Alpha to Holding Point Golf for VFR circuits. I'll give you the clearance when you're at the Holding Point. 
Directed on point, golf by Keelan Alphix, but clear it's at the holding point, golf off right here. So what I'll do now is I've got spoken to him and asked him and told him what I would like to do. Uh, so at the moment we've got Blackpool down there, Wharton is over there. So we should have Woodvale over here somewhere. Once I can see Woodvale I will route in further towards the coast to the C4 VRP, which is looks like it's pretty much just north of Liverpool at the mouth to the Mersey. And uh, I'll give him a call back then and let him know what we're doing. And uh, hopefully it'll give me what I would like. But we shall see. It's nice to actually have some traffic here for once. You know, the previous legs have been a bit boring, but uh, ATC wise, thankfully, it looks like there's quite a bit of traffic in here. It's like there's a few aircraft actually. Blackpool down there. I think that's Lytham St. Anne's. Then that's uh, Watton, the mother ship over there. So that should be Southport, Birkdale, Sands over there. I think that's I think that's Woodvale there. I should be able to see it because it's pretty much on the coast. Golf Alpha Echo ready for departure. Uh, Golf Alpha Echo Liverpool hold position. And Liverpool Tower clears Golf Alpha Echo for left hand visual circuits, runway 27 at Liverpool. Not above altitude 1,500 feet. Squawk 7010. QNH is 1026. Go ahead. Holding position after part of runway 27, clear to enter left hand bridge circuits. Altitude 1,005 feet. Liverpool QNH 1026. Squawk 7010. Golf Alpha, Golf Alpha, Echo. Ah, Golf Alpha, Echo, correct. Uh, via holding point Golf, runway 27, you are cleared to take off. Surface wind now 290 degrees at 14 knots. Hi, Golf, runway 27, clear take off. Golf, Alpha, Echo. Somebody's confident in what they're saying. Hopefully, uh, I'll get like that eventually. At the minute, I'm not that quick. Go ahead and put a London light on now. Just since it's gonna, there is going to be some traffic in the area. Just another. Just helps other people see me. Uh, so yeah, so there's Woodvale there. Excellent. So once I am pretty much 200 degrees from that, I'm going to turn to a 157 heading. 157. And that should take me down to the uh, Seafoth VRP. Kingdom 07, request air taxi. Kingdom Air uh, 07, uh, air taxi to holding point Golf for runway 27 departure. Air taxi holding point Golf, Kingdom 07. I do apologise if you just heard me coughing.
Golf Africa, Darwin, touch and go. Golf Africa, Liverpool, uh, report on final runway 27 for touch and go. OK, Golf Africa. I don't know what it is, but I like this safety Golf Africa, okay, request Liverpool surface wind. Uh, Golf Africa, current surface wind 290 degrees at 14 knots. Roger, Golf Africa. I like the controller's voice at the minute, I've got to say. You need a challenge. Yeah, that's not a challenge. We're used to uh, 20 degree gusts. <laughs> there you go. No, it's boring flying in low conditions, you know, it's, it, we, we, you're absolutely correct, we like the challenge, all, all those in, inputs and, and, and crabbing. Absolutely, absolutely. It's also easy, easy to land with this summon instead of a non so. Indeed. That's Woodvale there. So I'm going to make my turn now on to 157. So, 157. Actually, pretty much just following the coast down, really. Um, how far is that? 8 miles. Kingdom 07 is ready. And Kingdom 07, uh, can you just tell me again your departure, requested departure routing, please? Request a route uh, northeast towards uh, Manchester uh, North, northern area. Hi, Roger, Kingdom 07, that's understood. Uh, from uh, position Golf, runway 27, you're cleared. Uh, take off, uh, you can make a right turn out and route not above 1,500 feet. And the squawk 5052. 5052 runway 27 clear take off, uh, right turn out to VFR not above, of course not below, or <laughs> not above all these 1,500 feet, Kingdom 07. Kingdom 07, A factor. Golf of Racco, final touch and go. Uh, Roger, uh, that was quick. Golf Alpha Echo, uh, go round, I say again, go round, uh, my apologies, and report again downwind for runway 27. Going round, we'll report and join downwind, Golf Alpha Echo. Local Tower Golf Alpha Hotel is five miles north of the Seaforth VRP. Hey Roger, Golf Alpha Hotel, you're cleared to enter the Liverpool uh, zone via Seaforth VRP and the Liverpool uh, entry lane. Report the airfield in sight. We'll report the airfield in sight, Golf Alpha Hotel. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to descend. To uh, 1500 feet, seeing as though that is the maximum altitude I can be at anyway. So. Golf Alpha Echo Liverpool, apologies for that. Uh, a report on final for runway 27. The surface wind remains uh, 290 degrees at 14, and you'd be glad to know you're now number one. Well, Ken and Bonner, sorry about the awful flying. We should have flown from my heading, but we just wanted to uh, get back in before another approach. Golf Africa. <laughs> Golf Africa, no problem.
So yeah, so the checklist is for the landing. Mixture is fully rich, which it is. Landing light is on, which it is. Brakes are off, which they are. Uh, fuel tanks are at the fullest tank. You'll go for the right hand tank. Golf off echo final. Golf off echo, runway 27, you are cleared. Touch and go, surface wind is 290 degrees at 14 knots. Runway 27 cleared, touch and go, golf off echo. Yeah, there's 1,500 feet. We'll add the power. Trim out there because it will want to climb as I add the power. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that back to. There we go. So, I know Liverpool now is 11.7 miles away. is now just coming into Liverpool. Kingdom 07 entering the low level corridor at Burtonwood. Thanks for the service. Uh, stay changing in route 7, I think. Oh, Roger. Kingdom 07, that's very great pleasure. Thank you for all your help and uh, have a good day yourself. Thanks. Liverpool Tower Golf Alpha Hotel is a visual with the field, uh, 1,400 feet. Uh, Golf Alpha Hotel, Roger, report, uh, join on a crosswind leg, uh, maintain the Mersey entry lane until crosswind, and then you can turn downwind. We have one other aircraft in the circuit, he's just turning downwind at this present time. We'll uh, cross downwind uh, to uh, stay with the river. Uh, one of the aircraft in circuit looking for the traffic. Golf Alpha Hotel. Golf Alpha Hotel, AFA. Golf Alpha Echo, down in touch and go. Golf Alpha Echo, Roger. Report on final for runway 27 for touch and go. And can you score 7010, please? Welco, Golf Alpha Echo is squawking 7010, mode Charlie. Roger. Uh, I had a slightly different thing on my tag and I see what the mistake was. Me, ignore. A lovely chap. No problem, sorry, before we did something wrong about that. That's it. Fact, thanks for today, thank you. Right. <laughs> So I'm going to descend to a thousand feet now. Pattern height. 
I'm not sure my QNH is right. 1026, which it is. Landing light is on, fuel pumps are on, that's fine, yeah, we're all good. So I think I might do a circuit actually. Might as well, since we've got the ATC there for it. So let's put our heading book on 27. Golf Health Hotel, if you could make your heading now, please, 180 degrees, that would help uh, slot you in. Turning around 180 degrees, I'll Golf Alpha Hotel. Golf Alpha Echo Final. Golf Alpha Echo, runway 27, you are cleared, touch and go. Surface wind is 290 degrees at 14 knots. And after departure, uh, an early turn would be uh, very welcome. Runway 27, cleared, touch and go. Early turn after departure, Golf Alpha Echo. Golf Alpha Echo, many thanks. Traffic there, you know, the Cessna in the circuit. And Golf Alpha Echo, ignore the last command, uh, just continue straight ahead on departure. I will give you the turn onto the crosswind leg. Continue run my heading, expect uh, left hand back. Golf Africa, affirmative. Well, it's not surely a vector because it's only a direction, but you know. It is. Not too good to be pedantic about such things. Yes, I'm allowed to suggest headings. I'm not allowed to give them. I can suggest a heading. Yes. <laughs> Suggestion with, um,. Yes, yeah, a very firm suggestion, let's say. Yes, heavy-handed suggestion. <laughs> well, that's classy in the UK for you. Yeah, it's lovely. Golf Half Hotel, uh, see you turning onto Downwind Leg. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, report on final for runway 01. Uh, you will be number one. Golf Half Hotel is downwind. Uh, cleared number one for touch and go, if possible, please. Uh, Alpha Hotel A firm for touch and go report on final. We'll report on final, Golf Alpha Hotel. Yeah, let's get some circuits in while we've got a controller. Why not? We've got the fuel, and I am ahead of schedule anyway, so. so 1,000 feet, leveling off. Bring the power back slightly because we are slightly fast. So, anyway, those of you that want to fly on Vatsim, come to Liverpool, it's all... Golf Alpha Echo, request left turn onto Crosswind Lake. Uh, Golf Alpha Echo, uh, do you have the traffic? He's in your, uh, just coming into your 9 o'clock position this time. A firm Golf Alpha Echo, traffic in sight. Golf Alpha Echo, with the traffic in sight, you're clear to turn crosswind, uh, maintain own separation and report downwind. Traffic in sight, turn crosswind and we'll go Golf Alpha Echo. Are you? What's going on there? I reckon that's my pedals having a little fit again. Good afternoon, sir. This is Easy Tango One Lima Eight with you requesting our IFR clearance to Bristol on a Rexham Two Tango departure. Yeah. Easy Tango 1 Lima 8, Liverpool Tower, you are cleared to Bristol as filed. It will be a Wrexham 2 Tango departure. Your score 7426, initial altitude is 4000 feet. So 
to a court to the lighthouse. Kid Bristol has filed on Wrexham two tango departure. Score. 7426, initial 4,000 feet, easy, Tango 1, Lima 8. Tango 1, Lima 8, clearance is correct, report when ready for push and start. Golf Alpha Hotel, turning finals, runway 27, touch and go. Golf Alpha Hotel, uh, runway 27, clear, touch and go, surface wind 290 degrees at 14 knots. Clear, touch and go, Golf Alpha Hotel. Golf Alpha Echo, Darwin to land in slow safe cruise. Golf Alpha Echo, Roger, Liverpool Tower, uh, you're cleared to final, number two, uh, report on final for runway 27 for landing. Number two, Wilco, Golf Alpha Echo. I think I was actually turning base there rather than finals. So yeah, let's turn finals now. wind. There's our traffic. Hold that. Let's see if we can get the uh, small one to go. Okay, and power. And we're off. I just think the heading box shifted a little bit. If I even had it right to start with. That's a shot. Now climb a thousand feet. Golf Alpha Echo, final to land. Golf Alpha Echo, Liverpool, runway 27, you are cleared to land, surface wind now 290 degrees at 14 knots. Runway 27, clear to land, Golf Alpha Echo. Golf Alpha Echo, for information, what aircraft is Golf Delta Juliet Alpha Hotel? Uh, stand by one. He's a PA twenty-eight. Golf Alpha Echo, Roger. It's just like he seems to call final on the uh, on the base. Like, but I don't know if that's my simulator la lagging behind or some sort of issues of that nature. I suspect it's exactly that, but uh, he will pick that up. Golf Alpha Hotel is turning downwind. That was my fault. I called it too soon. As should have said base rather than uh, finals. Uh, Golf Alpha Hotel, uh, Roger. I'm surrounded by gentlemen today. Very nice. It's only to match the controller. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, lovely guy. There's always people out there that will correct you if you do something wrong, so I'm going to make my Golf turn. Alpha Echo, runway vacated. Golf Alpha Echo, Rudger, uh, you're cleared left on Alpha and right at Kilo for General Aviation. So left on Alpha, right Kilo to General Aviation Alpha, thanks so much for your excellence as always, Air Control Service. Golf 
Thanks, Papa. Okay, you're very kind. I have a question for you in a moment. I'll just uh, PM it. Golf Alpha Hotel is downwind for 27. Touch and go. Roger, Golf Alpha Hotel. Report on final for runway 27 uh, for a touch and go. We'll report final for 27, touch and go, Golf Alpha Hotel. Actually, Golf Alpha Echo, I'll do it over the uh, radio, it's just slightly quicker. I had somebody came uh, slightly earlier and he had a problem with the pilot asking for some kind of verification. Stand I'll just look it up. Roger, Golf Alpha Echo. Yeah, he kept getting a thing, client authentication response timeout, and he said it happens in dense areas. I don't know whether he's referring to the controller or the level of traffic, but uh, uh, I've never come across that before. And he said it happens because he's in the Gulf area. Well, I've told him that we get people from all over the world coming in here, and they've never had that problem, so I'm not sure what it is. Golf Alpha Echo, that's quite an intriguing and interesting proposition. We, quite frankly, have no idea and we've never come across that, but then again, we're not the best people to ask, but thanks awfully for sending the question our way, Golf Yeah, I told him to go online and just go to the forum and ask it, and I think if anybody else has had the problem, they might be able to help him. Hey, firm, the forums are a wealth of knowledge, and uh, well, well, they can be, given, given that they're from the right sources. Golf Alpha Echo. Exactly, exactly. Thanks very much for the service, and we'll log off here. We might fly again in a few uh, moments. We'll see what's uh, happening with the current situation. Golf Africa, that's a, uh, a lovely. Uh, come back and see us again sometime, whatever. Uh, and it's been fun with you. So enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, lovely. It's full of jet gentlemen today for uh, for for once. I say. Golf Alpha Hotel is finals for 27, and uh, in response to the ish guy's issue earlier, I'm in the Gulf as well, and I sometimes have that message. Uh, seems to be a internet connection issue. Ah, oh, that's very kind because uh, he kept on disconnecting and reconnecting, and uh, you know uh, when you're controlling, you can understand it gives a slight problem because you're never sure where he's going to turn up. Yeah, it's the uh, I have the same sometimes, and uh, the internet's not the most stable of things over this way, at least for me anyway. And uh, sometimes I'm in and out like a yo-yo. So, uh. well, that's very kind. Uh, that's added to my store of knowledge today. I'm learning a lot today. It's uh, it's been a good morning. So, thank you very much for that. I'm not 100 percent sure that is the uh, the actual cause of the problem, but I've noticed that I tend to get that problem when my internet's uh, dropping in and out. Yeah, I can understand, and uh, Golf Africa, you're quite right, always learning, that's me. Golf Africa, well, that's why you're a good controller, sir, bye-bye. Zero -bye. degrees at one four knots. That's why you're a good controller, sir, bye-bye. Bye-bye, thank you very much. So this is Easy Tango 1 Lima 8, ready for push and start. Easy Tango 1 Lima 8, Liverpool Tower, push and start approved, face east, QNH 1026. Push and start approved, facing east, local QNH 1026, Easy Tango 1 Lima 8. Okay, I'll make the turn. I'll be down one then. I'll land it off to this one. No more such and goes.
done that again. It should be a 1 8 for a minute or two and then a downwind. Golf Alpha Hotel is downwind for 2 7 full stop. Roger, Liverpool Tower clears Alpha Hotel finals, uh, runway 27 for a full stop. We'll report finals for 27 full stop Golf Alpha Hotel. So should the fuel's okay. Yeah, we're on the left tank now, which is fine. All stations, Liverpool Tower now having to close. Uh, enjoy your afternoon, gentlemen, and I'll see you again sometime. Bye bye now. Thanks for the uh, excellent control in Golf Harbour Hotel. Hope to see you soon. Again soon. Roger, it's been my pleasure, and uh, thanks for flying into Liverpool. What a shame. Lovely guy. Oh, I was just about to finish anyway, so it's not too bad. So. So go to the Unicom, one, two, two, decimal eight there. Yeah, Unicom Golf, Delta Two Alpha Hotel, final for two seven at Liverpool. So a full stage of flat. Slightly low. That's fine, looking for the early turn off anyway at Fox Drive if I can. Pedals are a nightmare. Okay, so we're down. Clean up. Flaps are up. So where are we? Yeah, it's okay, it's coming up there, so that's fine. Turn off here. 
Unicom Golf Delta Julia Alpha Hotel has vacated the active at Liverpool Taxi into General Aviation Parking. So, strobes off. Transponder set to standby. So, I'm just going to go ahead and park over here. That'll do for me. Okay, right, so pack and brake on. So... Shut down. Go ahead, turn the fuel pump off. Landing light can come off. Avionics can come off. So go ahead and turn that off. So, so let's go coming off here. Yeah. Landing uh, lights can come off. We go for the drop, which we have. Still get the drop. So that's fine. Okay, and make sure it can be cut now. Let's get some air in, shall we? So that is now off. Okay, so that was that. Welcome to uh, Liverpool, everyone. John Lennon International Airport. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining in this time, and uh, hopefully you can see uh, you can join in on the next leg down to Exeter on the south coast of England. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>